What's going on Funko Funko heads out there? Today we are going to go over our top 5 Emerald City Comic Con Pops that I own. With me heading to Emerald City Comic Con on Wednesday and the shared exclusive and the con pops being out on Thursday, I wanted to share with you guys my top five Emerald City Comic Con pops. When I first started collecting these pops, I did not really know about Emerald City Comic Con. I was fairly new. Uh, the first year I totally missed it even though I was kind of collecting. I didn't know what the heck Emerald City Comic Con was. It is a Comic Con that's in Seattle, Washington. I'm in New York. We're going to fly five and a half hours to get there. And it is right by the Funko headquarters. Funko pretty much is known for this being their con. Everything is based off the Emerald City, the green, and the pops themselves are usually always based off of a green item. And the stickers are always have some kind of green in it, and they try to make as many pops as they can with that Emerald City green. My top five Emerald City Comic Con pops, based off their value, we're gonna use Popspedia. Why I use Popspedia is because the fact you can actually organize it by value, and you can organize it by the actual con that it's from. So that made it a lot easier. Now at number five, Buff Rick, Buff Summer from the Rick and Morty line. This is valued at $115 now. I paid 50 bucks for this right away before the con even started so that I can get it because I knew I was going to miss out. And I remember uh, at the time Ray was there and he was like, don't do it, don't do it, we'll find it in store. We never did and I was able to get this for 50 bucks. It's worth $115. Pretty cool. Did anybody get these in stores? Let me know. Number four. Next up is a 2016, 300 pieces. They don't sell 300 pieces pops no more. And in the last Emerald City Comic Con, they didn't even have any numbered exclusives. Same thing for San Diego Comic Con and New York Comic Con. They only left the numbered exclusives to like Dino Mutt, and Blue Falcon. So this one right here, 2016, 300 piece limited, goes for $178. And it is the Green Goblin. He's holding the, the lantern in his hand. Uh, it's glow in the dark. Uh, I can see why it's only valued at that. I think I paid about 200 something bucks for it. But you can see why it's nothing really that different. I believe the share exclusive was even better because he was on his speeder. So it's like, uh, come on. But this is number four. Let's go. Three. I unboxed this pop and all of the Funko Pops that were part of that series in one unboxing video about a year ago. It had $1,500 worth of Marvel Pops and this was on it. The value for this is $210. There's not a limited number on this. I don't know why. It is from 2013. Maybe they didn't do those yet. But this pop and the two other Phoenix Pops are very hard to collect all of them. I'm glad I have this in one in my collection. The one thing I do wish they will do within the next year is make a metallic, a metallic con exclusive Silver Surfer. Let's go. At number two, if you know me, it's always going to be a Star Wars pop. And we have a rare, this is a rare 1000 piece limited and that is Han Solo, he is valued at $352. This is Han Solo as a storm trooper. I've seen a lot of people make a lot of customs of this and uh, I don't blame you because it's valued so high at $352. It's from 2011, 2011. This pop is a must have for any of you Star Wars collectors. It is a must, highly recommended. Make a custom, let's get to number one. At number one, you know, if that's gonna be Han, you know it's gonna be a Luke. So we have 1,000 piece limited, number 16, Luke Skywalker, 
as a storm trooper. That's ridiculous, right? What's the value for it? $405, $405. Now, you're looking at this saying, what is that extra sticker on there, right? What is that extra sticker? Well, that extra sticker is part of me getting this signed by Mark Hamill. The signature for this was $295. Hairs. So you would value this pop out with the signature at $700. But when I was at that con that day, I still got to post a video for, I saw that everybody else was getting all the other Luke Skywalker sign. Because I got this one signed, it's a limited to a thousand pieces with the price tag and knowing for a fact that there's only two in the world that have this pop signed, that for me is insane. Hope you guys enjoyed the top five. Let's get a quick recap. Number five, Buff Rick, Buff Summer. Number four, 300 piece, Green Goblin. Three, Phoenix. Number two, Han Solo, Stormtrooper. One, Luke Skywalker, Stormtrooper. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. What are your top five Emerald City Comic Con Pops? Let me know below. Make sure you enter our giveaway for the Toxic Rick and Morty in the video link below. B